Welcome to anybody who's watching the live stream or watching the video. This is our bi-weekly showcase, which is the time when we show off the most recent things that we've done in Breakers World. This is our pre-alpha test build 0.8. We'll have a few more builds before we get to alpha. So this is still early content, but some of it we're very excited about where it's gotten to, and I can't wait to show it to you. So I'm going to start a new game and we're going to breeze through the tutorial. I'll skip these sort of initial story elements which are placeholders. And I'm actually going to Captain, you must escape run through this. So this is our tutorial level. We've changed these barrels so they don't tip over or crates because that was pretty annoying. And in theory we should be able to get through this pretty quickly. Unstable systems. This door is locked. Skip that mini game. Terminal. I'll play Maybe the next one. Malfunctioning electrical circuits have damaged this passage. Perhaps you can reroute the power with that terminal. Hallelujah. So that um, I hacked that terminal that disabled these lightning traps so I don't die. Great find, Captain. This is a core. This is, a this is what we're after. Core. I'm going to go ahead and grab that one, and we're going to escape this. So this is a tutorial level. I kind of sped through it. A lot of you have seen it before. This is an indicator that we weren't seen by management. Management will uh, attack you and kill you and destroy your ship and end your game if they Captain, become too much of what you're doing. To, check out the ship I'm building for you. to avoid having the tutorials talk over me, I'm going to disable those. One of the things that I want to show is we now have a control screen, so if you ever forget which key to press for things. Now we have a handy dandy screen to show you. You can also uh, come to the same options menu and do things like lowering the, the music volume, stuff like that. We're starting to get the volumes and everything uh, dialed in, so it should be a lot better, but uh, you can adjust it there. So you get to the, get to the options menu by hitting escape, and we're going to go in here and check out a few levels and new features. So we have uh, about 12 levels that are currently either done or working on them. Four of them plus the tutorial level are in the build right now with more coming very soon. First, we're going to zip over here to level five because it's a good level to show off our new melee attacks, which are super fun. So Brandon Lee is our gameplay programmer and he has blessed us. Um, by the way, equipping weapon now is uh, H instead of uh, F because uh, we are finding that F would be something to accidentally hit during combat and then you'd holster your weapon and then you die and it was no bueno. What is F now is melee attacks. So we have, if you hold it down for just a half second, you get a kick. If you just tap it, you get a punch. A lot of the things in the uh, game, like these barrels, are have physics enabled, so they move around you can run up to them and kick them out of the way and stuff, it's super fun. We also have scrap in the game now. You can, you'll see it as we go through the levels. You want to get that scrap because that is what you trade for food. Oh, forgot to disable that trap. Luckily I didn't die. You you should see a, a red kind of glow around the edge of the screen right now. That'll stay there until I get back to my ship because that means I have health damage, which does not automatically regenerate. You see the placeholder green bar on the left. That is for your armor, which does regenerate over time. All right, here we go. Got to run, run out of here. Run away. So uh, I was saying earlier, Brandon is uh, gave us the melee attacks. So if you enjoy that, be sure to give him a shout out on our Discord. Uh, I love the way that it's working. And then he's also given us three uh, weapons modes. So you have automatic which has a spread and the spread is reduced if you hold the right, right mouse button to uh, zoom in i'm going to shoot this mini game um, and then also uh, you have shotgun mode and then you have a charge up mode where you hold down the left mouse button and then when you release it it sends out an explosive shot so those are some of the cool things that we have going on in that respect you'll notice anything that you do the little red bar in the middle reduces that is your power level of your armor. The ship itself also has a power level, which is slowly reducing. We haven't refined that functionality as much. But if you jump, if you run, all those things take power from your armor, which then regenerates. So let's uh, play this mini game. We have a couple different kinds in the game. 
Uh, this one is called power management. I'm kind of cheating and looking up in the left hand corner. We have a debug that tells us whether or not we're hitting the right pin. Um, spoiler alert, it'll tell you how to solve it pretty quickly. You can also, if you get frustrated with the mini games, some of them are harder than others. You can shoot them or punch them and they go away, but it does reduce the amount of time that you have to spend in the level before you run out of, uh, before the ship runs out of energy, which causes it to become a lot more darker and changes the game. So if I can get through here, we're gonna speed run to the end of this level. I'll collect the core at the end of it and we will show you another level. This person down here, some of the people in the game you can talk to, well, all of them you can talk to, but some of them are placeholders. This is one of those. Hello. My dialogue has not been implemented just yet, but someday I will have a cool story. In the meantime, would you like to recruit me to your crew? So in every level... Fight me to take my core. In every level, you typically have the ability to recruit or kill the person. You need 10 people to be in your crew. You also need cores to upgrade your armor and your ship, which we will look at in a little bit. So I'm going to collect that core, return to my ship, and fortunately we weren't noticed by management again, so we did not lose the game. At the beginning, uh, the chances of getting noticed are pretty low, and then it goes up over time, and depending on your decisions. So you can see the ship is unfinished. You can invest cores to upgrade these stations. Ultimately, there are 10 stations that you have to upgrade, and then you can escape the planet and win the game, as long as you have 10 crew members. So now we're gonna head over to level two, which is uh, a different sort of environment. And this one was made by our level designer, Chun Hao. The last one was made by Jimmy Cooprider. And, oh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Better, better get ready for, get ready for combat here. Can I get in cover here? You can't hit me, I'm in cover. There we go. The cover mechanic is one that Brandon has worked very hard on. It's now working quite well. Uh, many of the things in the game you can take cover behind. That was one of them, he's right up on me, so it might not have been my best decision, but I really wanted to show that. Another one of the mini games that we have in the game, uh, we look at them as uh, hacking elements. This one has disabled this trap. I happen to know because I've played this level a few times and also unlocked this door. So in the interest of time, I'm going to give these ones some uh, give these ones some love with my blaster rifle here so that I can progress more quickly. Just kick, give that one a little kick. You may, uh, if you're Testing the game, you may notice some performance issues on this level, depending on your machine. Something you're aware of and we're working on. There's a lot of very complex assets. You can see the environment is super detailed. And so there's a little bit more tuning involved. Let's see if I can get through here without dying. Took it right on the chin. So I lost all my armor, but it'll come back here in a second. Okay, that's enough of that. Did it the old-fashioned way. Brute force and ignorance is really... Uh, whoa, hey, whoa, hey, oh! Headshots for the win. I just gotta remember where I'm going in here. It's this way. We do have subtle visual cues, some less subtle than others, but we have visual cues that will kind of help guide you where you need to go in the game. Take that. Take that mini game. Ain't nobody got time for that. Where is I going? I think I'm going back up here. So for those of you who don't know the lore of Breaker's World, the these are decommissioned ships that are being uh, scrapped for valuable parts on the planet. And, um, oh, oh. Better turn on my flashlight. Sit down! Sit down, fool. Oh, there's another one. Oh, this might be bad. I might die. Run away. 
So I ran out of power because I was shooting too continuously. Gotta let that red bar in the center charge back up a little bit. Well, there's two of them there. I think I got one of them. I had to let my power recharge a little bit. Maybe switch to a different weapons mode and go in and do some do some shotgunning. Maybe maybe we'll melee him. See if, see how it goes. I think I'm getting stuck on the ground here. Where are you, fool? Flashlight. Boom! Oh! <laughs> That's pretty gratifying, I'm not going to lie. So one of the new things that uh, we put in the game is the flashlight. It also draws power. There's some levels where you absolutely need to have it to be able to find your way around. I was having trouble seeing that person. Try to turn the flashlight, just like in real life, taking me back to my room clearing days. And uh, I could see him and got the, got the job done. Almost to the end of this level, I do believe. Where am I here? Green means go. Off to the races. One of the options of being able to shoot the mini games is if they're on the other side of a trap, you can potentially choose that option. Look. Aha, here's another, uh, another placeholder. Just going to leave them alone for the minute. See if I can grab this core. Come to Papa, and we're out of here. Hey, we still haven't been noticed by management. So a lot of the, uh, a lot of what governs whether or not you're noticed by management is the conversation choices you make, which I haven't been showing off any of the detailed conversations uh, so far in this playthrough. I've shown them off in previous ones. I want to go to one other level quickly. Has a lot of cool elements. And then I will show off a couple more features and then we'll actually hop into the editor, into Unreal itself, and I will show you some of the things that we're working on. So this level is made by our producer, Mary Marquez. She's dual heading as production and level design. And it's a bit of a maze. She's generous with the scrap, the new feature that we added, so I'm going to try to get all of the scraps. Oh, this is a hard one. Yeah, I have a... Oh, huh. Gets easier as you, as you go. Very cool. Apparently I'm still trash at it. Take that. like a trap up on the ceiling there. Now I'm going to get back into shotgun mode because I have a feeling it's about to go down. Okay, I know it is because I've been here before. Uh oh, oh, this is no, not good. There's one other one. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, 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 yes. Still alive. We have health damage, but we're still on our feet, so we'll call it a win. So we are working hard to get the lighting tuned just right. You'll know some areas, maybe it's not ideal. Um, the idea is that it should be pretty dark, but also playable. And then that if you get in a bind, you can bust out your flashlight to figure find your way around. But these are uh, decommissioned ships that are being temporarily powered by your ship. And so you have limited... Oh, that's some, one of the new things that's been put in that I forgot to mention. Um, Oh, this, that was a bad, bad decision, because I'm getting hit by this trap here. If You may have heard the, we call them efforts, but it's a sound effect where the player is taking damage, and they're all recorded by our voice actors. So the main voice actor for the game is Jason Leadingham, super talented actor and our all-star casting director. So not only have we recorded the lines that the player says, but then also what happens when they take damage or die or things like that. So you'll hear that and there's animations to go along with them. All right, so we are progressing. This level is a bit like a maze and it is, uh, you'll see the sand and things creeping in. This because this ship is basically underground, sh slowly falling into the planet.
probably seen by now, for the most part, I'm just smashing the mini games. It's largely in the interest of time uh, for streaming so that I can get through showing you a lot of content. In the actual gameplay, there is a trade-off for that if you because it reduces the amount of time that you can spend in the ship. I think I got all of them. I know there's one in a really tricky place somewhere in this level. Mary's probably screaming at her screen right now because I've missed it. But we're about to find out. It needs to get in there. Let's see, where is it? Ooh, ooh, I, I know where it is. Did I just die? Nope, I took cover. I know where it is. It's all the way down here. Aha! Take that. Now our last door should be unlocked. So the consoles are used for disabling traps, unlocking doors, and sometimes it ends up um, also creating a bit of a maze or puzzle nuance as it changes things on the other side of the level. So here we have another placeholder MP. Hello, how do you like me now? I'm going to go up here and grab this core and then head back to our ship and turn on my flashlight so I can see where I'm going. Yes, got the loots, got the loots. So the cores basically give you the ability to level yourself up, and which I'll show, and then also to finish your ship. You need 10 of them to complete your ship. You can use, I think, around 30 of them to upgrade your character. And we're going to run up to the upgrade console and see what those options look like. So these are all of your options for upgrading your character. Some of them are linear, uh, some of them are standalone, like for command. It's getting a little finicky exactly where I hold my cursors for the tooltip. There you go. Now we can blackmail or intimidate characters. Um, I'm going to, okay, and then ship modules, you can upgrade parts of your ship. And in this case, I'm going to invest three in armor. And then I'm going to put one in engineering. So we now have no more available. Now, if you look, I've actually gone up two levels of armor. Now we have his top level upper body armor. Still have the regular armor on the bottom, but we've got much better armor on the top. So it's a visual upgrade. And it also, of course, makes you more resistant to damage and gives you other bonuses. So it's the, the player advancement in the game is, is done that way. Now, if we walk into engineering, for those of you who have seen it before in the unfinished state, you'll notice now that by adding a core to it, we have completely upgraded and finished this part of our ship, which ultimately is what we need to do for all 10 parts in order to take off from the planet. All right, so let's head to town. We've gathered a bunch of scrap. Let's see what we can go do with it. Hopefully y'all can hear the music. I'm not sure how the volume levels will go on Twitter. Music was done by the talented uh, and very awesome composer Kyle Griffith, and it is different for each environment, and it's also procedural music, so it changes based on what, who you're close to, what kind of cores you put in the armor. A lot of factors give it subtle changes uh, that customize the music as you play the game. So this is Taz. Oh, what's this? A new core hunter? She is voiced by Aura Page, and we can talk to her a little bit. In this case, I'm just going to go straight to trade to show our new trading system. It's pretty basic at the moment, it's, but we've prototyped it. So you can see all the, the scrap that I've collected, and I can just click on these and start using them. In, that, in this case, it means actually trading it. And Let's just go ahead and trade all of our scrap. So then when I return, you'll see up in the top, I gained 15 food. So I had 15 scrap, I gained 15 food. Right now our economy is super basic, but you need the food to feed your crew, feed yourself, and survive and keep your crew loyal enough, uh, long enough to escape the planet. So that system is now in, it's functioning. We'll continue to tune it and add to it, but that is the um, 
the core of our scrap collection mechanics. So you want to grab the cores because that's how you advance, but you need to grab the scrap because that's how you stay alive and, and continue being able to go on more missions. Okay, I'm just glancing at my notes here, see if there's anything else I wanted to show off. I think we've uh, shown a good amount of things here. I'm going to hop over into the editor. Actually, I'm going to quit game, so I'm not hearing music for it. We also have a save system now. There's other features I did not show off, but... Um, there's only so much I can show in a period of time. So, okay, this is which level I'm on. This is level eight. This is Mary's level, uh, one of her new levels. So this is this is under construction. Let me minimize this a little bit more. This is under construction on Unreal 4.27. But I just wanted to show you some of the awesome stuff. So the idea with this ship is it's actually upside down and at an angle. So you can see as we're rolling through the ship, the whole entire thing is different. I'm having to jump over what would be elements of the ceiling. Oh, somebody here. Yeah, how are you doing? How are you doing? Okay, that guy's uh, AI might need to be tuned a little bit. He was not too, not too aware of my presence, um, which is something that we'll be working on in the next couple of months. Oh, my flashlight ran out of juice. This might get ugly for a minute here. If you can't see on this, anything on the screen, don't worry. Neither can I. There we go, back in business. So I'm just going to show off a little bit of this level. Clearly I don't know where I'm going in it. Green means go. I'm going to go this way. Oh no, my juice is running out. So my flashlight ran down my power armor, to, but then I couldn't jump over it. So I had to turn the flashlight off in order to be able to continue. This looks like something here is going to hit me. Nope, I lived through it. Anyway, oh, hey, oh, hey. No, 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 no. Go away. Uh oh. Melee attack! Melee attack! Get him, get him, get him, get him! <laughs> kick, kick! Yes! Oh, there's another one. I'll hide here for a second. Try to let my armor recharge. Oh, he's coming around, he's coming around. I mean, we still have a long way to go on the combat. We j we just now are a combat feature complete, but it's already quite fun, and we'll we'll be you know tuning it and balancing it. But it's really quite fun. Okay, so you can see this. Uh, what I really wanted to show off is how this entire level is angled downward, like this ship has you know crashed or been landed at an angle, and it gives it a whole different nuance to the way that you play it. So anyway, this this level still under construction. There's a lot more tuning and additions and everything to go but I love it already, and I think you will too. And I'm going to go to Chunhao's level four. It's made by another one of our level designers. He's the one who made level two. And this one is another asset pack, or they're like resources we use to make the game, and we tune them from there. This one has got like this kind of retro feel. Now we haven't uh, tuned the environment yet to have all the rust and damage, but it's coming, trust me. And uh, we have tuned it in here. Look at this, this is brand new, I love it. Okay, so, oh, 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 oh no. Hey, you may have noticed the sound effect there of the flamethrower kicking off. Let my health recharge a little bit. So our audio producer, our audio producer, producer Aaron Vaders Collins is starting to swing into action and tune our audio, add new sound effects to the game, do all sorts of things in the audio realm that make the game sound better and give you better feedback. And the flamethrower is one of the, the very first thing he's done. Person tried to hide behind this glass wall and uh, didn't do much good because it hadn't popped up yet. Oh, there's another one over here. I'm getting hit by that gas. Let's see if this turns it off. Okay, go to sleep. Anywho, this level's not complete yet, but is uh, very cool. A completely new environment. Basically, different environments represent different ship manufacturers. 
represent different spaceship manufacturers and this is a whole new one that is not yet in the final build or the playable build but it is one we're working on and then one more that i want to show that i really love i want to say it is 10 another one of chun hao's levels that is uh earlier in stages of development so i don't think there's any enemies in this one yet but i really like how it's coming along so as you can see we start out dark I get out my weapon so I can turn on the flashlight and we've basically tunneled our way into this one that is underground and the ship is very turn off the flashlight to conserve power the ship is very uh, much like falling into a crevasse or partially underground and it gives us that sort of uh, the aesthetic that we're looking for with this planet which is a barren planet where all these uh, ships are being scrapped like a scrapyard so You'll see this is that same retro pack from last oh oh hello hello i'm trying to talk to my uh talk to talk to my people here don't don't be shooting me bro so this is another one where we've uh, got the angle thing going on there's all sorts of hazards in here that i'm trying to avoid like those spikes in the floor but it gives a gives a real sort of oh it's it's on buddy Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, I think probably my favorite thing in the game is melee attacks. I don't, I don't know why they're just, it's really fun to be running around in this heavy duty power armor, smashing people. I, I, I don't know. Maybe, maybe I need to dial back the violence, but it is what it is. And I'm now falling in a hole with poison gas. So this is probably not going to end well. No, run away. That's all right. We'll show off the death animation. It's about to happen. I don't want to die. I'm like just barely staying alive. Oh, it's oh, it's it's happening. It's happening. The, the red is getting worse. Oh, oh it's kind of hard to see, but anyway. He died. Took a little bit of effort, but it happened. And I'm back at the beginning of the level. Okay. So that is all I wanted to show you for today. Thank you for watching this demo of Breakers World. And I will see you next time. I just saw in a stream chat... Uh, just I couldn't see it while I was playing. Jim, welcome. Yes, I need to recruit Tun. Uh, <laughs> he is in one of the maps that's not implemented yet, so that'll be next time. And I uh, also welcome to Mary. As I said, she's one of our producers. And anyone else who is watching that I missed, thank you. Thanks for coming.